Lonnie Chen is a Republican candidate for California State Comptroller, uh, and I believe the only statewide official, possibly, to be a Republican come November, depending on how the election goes. Lonnie, good to see you. We appreciate it. Uh, is there an opportunity now, either for conservative Democrats or for Republicans in California, as a backlash to the policies we saw in San Francisco? Yeah, I mean, I think we saw it in San Francisco. I think the potential that we see it in Los Angeles with George Gascon, that recall effort is underway. And I, I think it does demonstrate what the far left bounds of progressivism are in these cities. You know, the notion that you can uh, sort of have soft on crime policies uh, in major cities, the, the proof is in the pudding, so to speak, in terms of what happened in San Francisco, lawlessness, smash and grab, people knowing that if they were to uh, take or rob certain businesses up to a certain amount, they would not be subject to jail time. Uh, all of these things are, are known. And the lack of prosecution and a couple of very high profile cases in San Francisco, for example, people who uh, were responsible for committing relatively gruesome crimes uh, where they weren't punished, maybe to the extent that, that folks in the public wanted, all of these things together create, I think, what is the philosophy or what is the basis for change and potential recall, not just of Chesa Boudin in San Francisco last night, but potentially George Gascon and, and others down the road. Paint a picture for us as a citizen of California, how bad it's gotten. I mean, not just violent crime, but we're hearing more and more about things like residential burglaries, people who are home when thieves try to come in and rob them. I would imagine even outside of your political circles, your friend circles are talking about violent crime and some of the risks and threats that are out there. Well, it, it is a challenge, particularly in the big cities in California. So Los Angeles and San Francisco are examples one and two. Uh, some of you may have seen the iconic sign of somebody who uh, had a car and put a sign on the on the window saying, please don't break in. You've already taken everything from the car. Uh, and, and, and that's the kind of, unfortunately, the kind of, of thing that we're seeing more frequently in major cities in California. Now, uh, obviously, there is this question of, well, how much are these burglars and others making away with? The broader issue is a quality of life question. And that's really the problem we have in California is that in too many of our major cities, for the amount of tax revenue that the state collects, for the amount that the state does in terms of regulation, um, the level of uh, sort of people's living in California, given all of these public safety challenges, is seen by many as being a challenge. And so it, it is the combination of what we're seeing in terms of actual crimes being committed with the reality that folks pay a lot of money to live in California, yeah. whether it's housing costs or costs for gas and food. And so the combination of those factors, I think, has become deeply frustrating and I think drove the recall of, uh, of Chesa Boudin last night and will drive, uh, I think, some potentially unusual outcomes later this year. Thinking about unusual outcomes, I'm looking right now at the map from last night. Uh, save a few counties around San Francisco and up uh, the northern coast. I see you smiling because you know where I'm going here. Uh, a Republican won, Lonnie Chen. Uh, in the controller's race, but in virtually every other statewide race, Republicans didn't stand a chance. Why is that? And does the same factors carry over for November? Yeah, I mean, we have focused my campaign exclusively on fiscal questions, on questions of do you believe the state is spending your money in the right way? Do you believe that you have the level of transparency you deserve around spending on homelessness and education and other issues? And so we, we've been very, very focused. Some might say too narrowly focused, but I think that's the focus of the job. The controller of California is the chief financial officer, the chief accountability officer of the state. And so I think that message of needing to put a check on what everyone else in Sacramento is doing resonated with voters, particularly we noted in Southern California. That's an area where Republicans have lost a lot of ground, LA County, Orange County, Riverside, San Bernardino, the major counties in the LA media market. Uh, Republicans have lost a lot of share there over the last 20 years. And, and our campaign managed to do very, very well, certainly in Orange and a few other counties around there. And, and we held our own in LA County. So um, it, wh whether the trend continues or not, it's gonna be up to us to run a good campaign and to, keep, to stay focused on those issues. Obviously, Democrats are gonna be very, very focused in terms of trying to take me out, but we're gonna do everything we can to keep making the case that you need balance in state government. I think it was interesting uh, today on uh, the tarmac as the president actually headed out to California. He's in Los Angeles right now. Uh, to reporters, I think the voters sent a clear message last night. Both parties have to step up and do something about crime as well as gun violence. 
Um, clearly, Justin Boudin did not get that message based on what he said last night. But uh, do you worry that if Democrats find religion when it comes to crime, which certainly the L.A. mayor's race is, is ten, trending in that direction, uh, you lose this opportunity come November? Well, I, I think the challenge, you know, I'm, I'm obviously if we could solve the crime problem between now and November, I'd be for it. I, I just don't think that that's going to happen, given that you've got a number of Democrats who have repeatedly been out on the record who are doing well still in California, who have been vocally in favor of defunding the police in the past, who are in favor of far left progressive policies uh, on public safety issues. So I, I think the challenge is that um, the, the, the uh, Democrats who are running in California, by and large, have adopted and embraced the policies that Joe Biden has now spoken out against and is trying to turn the National Democratic Party away from. The reality is that the Democratic Party in California is out of step in this regard because they are embracing uh, folks like Chesa Boudin, like George Gascon, who are adopting these soft on crime policies that unfortunately have made some really wonderful cities, San Francisco and L.A., into places that a lot of people probably don't really want to go anymore. Yeah, yeah that, that's a great point. Yeah. Mm. Lonnie Chen, candidate for California State Comptroller. Always good to have you on. Appreciate your time. Yeah.